There is nothing to celebrate now. Many people are suffering, frustrated, and unhappy due to the hardship in the land. Says King Wasiu Aindi Masha, as he cancels his yearly birthday carnival for his 67th birthday anniversary. Hello everyone, you're so much welcome. Well, except you belong to the billionaires club who have no idea nor are they pinched about the hardship in Nigeria, or maybe you belong to the class of politicians who, you know, are just in their own bubble, you will know that our economy is at its very, very crucial moment. A lot of people in Nigeria now, especially business owners, workers, average earners, and low-income family, are sweating it out now. The hyperinflation taking place in Nigeria right now is despicable. It's so bad that the minimum wage is 18,000 Naira, while a bag of rice, as we speak, is about 80,000 Naira, if not 90,000 Naira. And people are asking the question, where do we go from here? How will people survive? People who are hard workers, people who have multiple streams of income, are sweating it out. Fuel is at all time high, you know. Electricity generation is not at its peak. And even if you need to com make your own electricity by generator, you know how much you spend before it all burns out. Work workers are being laid off every day because some bosses cannot even cope with the overhead cost of running businesses. Oh yes, yeah, some people are still having the best of times right now. Their businesses are booming, whatever connection they are able to do. But the truth of the matter is, we cannot ignore what is going on. And for the very first hour that President Bola Metinumbu was sworn in into office, where he announced the removal of subsidy, everything just changed. Within 24 hours, it was long queues at the Hill Station and the Shege Banza wasted day. Just they grow every day. Hmm. Now, everybody who knows King Wasio Aide Masha knows that he doesn't joke with celebrating his birthday. He is one man that God has blessed, not just because of his uh, singing prowess, but because of his accessibility to power. He will always sing them into, you know, winning. And sometimes when things are not going well, just the way he sang for Buari, say Baba, say Buari. He also cautioned Buari at the tail end of his administration that time that, no, the suffering don't do much. Now today, he decided to do the same when he said, I share in people's pains and I see no reason I should be celebrating. Hmm. He won the ultimate, decided to cancel his yearly birthday carnival for his 67th birthday on March 3rd. 2023. He expressed his lack of enthusiasm for celebrating, citing the current challenges and hardship that the people are facing. Making a large jury celebration. I want your legion. Yes, Baba has no issues with eating. But the truth of the matter is, he has workers with him. He has relatives that he has. He has people. He has friends. He has people who have businesses but can no longer run it, except person they work with eyes closed. Or except a person don't have stone hearts. Now you no go no say. What in the apple for our country is not the best. Hmm. K1 pointed out that many people are struggling to survive. And the government is still trying to address the issues. And he said that's why the first state government did say that they try. You know to work on these issues. No improvement yet. We know Fila. Nashege Banza people they interpret for streets. Whatever palliatives that is being shared is just a pinch of salt. Like people will say to be like, we are not asking for bread to be donated or a bag of rice to be given. As was done with um, a particular government agency called for people to come and buy a bag of rice at 10,000 naira. And uh, sorry, a bag of rice at 10,000 naira with their NIN. A few hours later, after people queuing and buying, they said, okay, they'll be giving it out freely and everywhere it just became yam pepper scatter scatter. And people started stamping, um, stampeding on each other with seven human lives by. 
So you can see that the level of hunger, extreme hunger in the land is so much. Remember when the president visited the Lagos Central Mosque in the middle of a Kogongo, Lagos Island. And a video was made showing the convoy of his car. And Ariwata Uyongpa were like, We de hungry o, ebi yongpa won o. You know, where well, there should be jubilation. That's the call Lagos Island, go, 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 go. People were shouting that they were hungry. And so there's, people are hungry, people are hungry. And a hungry man is an angry man. The worst being of it is our children whose parents can barely afford even one square meal a day. So in the midst of all this, Babaki will not say, hmm, I'm not, there's nothing worth celebrating right now. He expressed hope, say God will help us, and say God will guide the leadership in Nigeria to find a way forward. He once said, now that the day is near and inside of me, there's nothing much happening in our country, Nigeria, to warrant me celebrating at this point in time. Many people are praying for survival at this point. To feed well is a big issue for many. And as someone that benefits from many of these people crying and lamenting, I share in their pain and see no reason I should be celebrating. Yes, I agree with what our country is passing through is not permanent, and government is trying in a positive way to get things fixed. And I believe God Almighty shall open ways and better direction for the leadership of our dear country. Hmm. So my people, you see wisdom. Let's take some comments. Somebody said, K1, you're doing well. It shows you are a very, very kind person. Another said, okay, oh, Bari Lumashi 1. Tinumbulu Mashe too. Thank God you know that people are suffering. Another said, This celebration should be used to help people who are in need. Give what you have to people who are less privileged. Another said, Amen. God will show our government best way to follow. K1, we love you for this. Another said, You value you value your fans and the people even as you don't gather men. Yet the match of your birthday was memorable. Unlike within Pastor's wife. Who felt the loss of husband, wife, and his son is not bad enough to cancel the birthday? Very wicked and insensitive husband and wife. Another no said, Please, K1, use the money to buy rice and share to your community, and God will bless your new year. Happy birthday, sir. Another said, Please use the opportunity to help the less privileged. God bless you. Said, The same less privileged that he helped to push further into their dire situation. Through his songs and praises of the thieves and clueless. Now he's trying to exonerate himself. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Another person said, Baba, help people around to celebrate your birthday, sir. Another said, K, a reasonable man. God will bless you and give you more grace. Happy birthday to you. More grace to your new age. Another said, Why can't K1 use the opportunity of his birthday to give back to the community? I've been not seen making put smile. Of the less privileged ones. Another said, nice one, but give back to the society from what you have gathered from them. This is the time. Another said, you have made a very good decision and the right one. May God bless you richly. Another said, this is a reasonable person sharing pains with the poor. Not like unreasonable pastor and his missus. That true unreasonable party when someone matters to them, bye, and yet to be buried. The party did not glorify God who spared her life to get to that 60 years. Another said, after you came out openly to chase people from voting their candidates, now you want to empathize with them. Hmm. Another responded, don't mind them, wicked people. The rest are looking for giveaway instead of condemning him for collecting the shares. They always defend and praise their oppressors. God bless late fella. Another said, Nigerians, shine your face, so happy birthday, Olori Omo Bakile Jebu. Another said, mm, don't mind him, he's only trying to change the narrative. After he came out with guns and thugs to scare away voters, after he waged a vocal war against the government of Jeg and praised Buhari and Tinumbu to high heavens, he's trying to paint himself white. Hmm. So let's just leave this at this. So as you can see, some are digging up, in quotes, the past of King Guasia in the Marshall saying, well, you are part of the Ajanatan Nords that bring them to power. 
and now you're trying to exonerate yourself while others are saying, well, whatever it is that you've done before, singing their praises to power, at least you're able to, to resonate with the people, you know, to share in their pains and to express your solidarity with them. So this is what King Wasia in the Marshall has done and said, what's your opinion on this? For this year, there's no carnival, you know, any birthday jamboree. Hmm. Share your comments in the comment section below. May God bless and help the poor masses of Nigeria as they weather this storm of extreme hardship. Be real.